Hi, good evening. Welcome back. Brand new week once again. We're already into second week of September. Time is just literally flying by. In a way, it's good. Uh, I mean, as I've been telling repeatedly, I just want this year to get done with. And uh, let's see if 2021 has anything positive for all of us. Anyway, the topic that I wanted to talk about today is work from home challenges. I know it might sound a very cliche topic for the type of life that we are living right now. But I just want to tell about my practical experience being on both sides of the story. One is as, a, as an employee who is facing my own set of challenges and also as a manager who is finding it uh, difficult in a way to kind of gel well with the team and get the things going, the productivity and bringing the team together and all those stuff. To begin with, the biggest problem I see, especially when um, doing this extended, f extended forever kind of work from home, is this whole aspect of dis being disconnected from the team physically. Like just assume like if you're there in office, you have your colleagues with you right in front of you, right next to you, sitting from morning till evening and whatever, like you're going out for coffee with them, you're going out for lunch with them, you have, you share some fun time and you just sit down, you have like, like literally you have like verbal discussions with them face to face and you can, that kind of like <clears throat> makes things go very smoothly, okay. And that is one of the biggest disconnect I see, especially when it's working from home and for this long time, like regular work from home, I'm not talking about what we had in the good old days, the pre-COVID era. Now this um, elongated or forever extended work from home, this is a thing because see now there is something which um, my team member wants to discuss with me or I want it's literally like you have to make a call or you have to slag them or you have to call them on a like you have to ask them to come on a webex and all earlier it's like you just turn around and talk to the person or just walk to their desk and all that's completely lost like totally lost that physical interaction that verbal interaction of seeing that person having some fun time having some serious discussion that's completely gone. Like just imagine doing a virtual brainstorming. It's, I don't know. It's like, I mean, I really enjoyed the type of brainstorming with, which we do in our office. We literally used to walk into any of the meeting rooms, which is empty, start uh, writing down things on the whiteboard and all. That's something which is missing. Second major thing uh, is distractions. I mean, it's, I don't know, day by day, I think it is just getting maybe worse or maybe this is also a thing which we have to get used to. A distraction from all kinds of daily grinds. Like uh, when you say a uh, distraction, it could be distractions from family, distractions from the things that are happening outside your house, distractions from a vegetable vendor who is there outside your house or any kind of non nonsense discussion that is going outside, which when you're having uh, a meeting or for me, like in my own uh, practical case, like I have a temple right next to my house. So when I used to work from home in the past, like, I mean, uh, the, the the less frequent ones, uh, the temple thing, um, the sound that is coming or the music that they play or anything that they do, that didn't used to bother me much then. But now it's become like, I just get up. I I mean, it's I'm not telling it happens daily, but at least it's, it's something which is, one of the factors that drive the distraction. Okay, and uh, I don't know, it's totally something which is unavoidable. None of these things are unavoidable. I can't go and tell the vegetable vendor not to use the annoying megaphone every day. I can't go and tell my parents to not to use the TV because it's, the volume is disturbing me. I can't, I mean, there's nothing you can do. This distraction, like, as I told you, once in a while, when we were working from home, it was fine, but daily when you're doing, your concentration, your thought process is completely different and that makes a huge difference. Um, the third major thing, uh, especially I'm like thankfully touch wood, I'm not facing this, but something which I have seen a lot of my team members face and a lot of other people face is like challenges with respect to infrastructure, like power issues, the pre-frequent power cuts, the broadband issues, the hardware issues like system crashing down and all the software issues wherein system getting hung or taking their own sweet time to update or some software not working and all. Uh, like, I mean, the first two things, there is nothing we can do, the power and all. I mean, as much as we, we know that we have to be responsible, have UPS and all the stuff. But again, that's an overload. Not anyone would have thought about setting up a UPS. No many people have gone to their native 
maybe they don't even want to invest on a UPS there. Uh, now the power goes there and uh, the router is not working. <coughs> so there's nothing much you can do about it. I mean, you just like they just message you on phone and say like power went off. I'm not able to continue working. You just say yes and you have to continue. And these type of things are very annoying. Like. I mean, again, if you're in the city, it's one kind of a story, but considering that many people, majority of the people have moved to their hometowns, and I'm not telling you everyone is from a major city, and there are lots of them who have come from smaller towns or smaller villages where uh, having the, the, the whole thing of frequent power cuts and all are nothing to be surprised about. And there is a power cut, there is an internet disconnected, and internet can disconnect it even otherwise. These are some like many trains, again, internet issue, power issue, and all of that. These are the things which is kind of um, would say like getting onto the nerves kind of a stuff and what I observe the next point rather what I observe is like um, initially like in the good old days when we used to work from home the thought process used to be like I, I have done like a twice a week or like once a week kind of kind of work from home and like my manager used to tell me like don't create a pattern and all those stuff but the reason why we used to create is like we used to avoid that, I mean, traveling to office, losing of those two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening. And in that way, we used to tell that, okay, we can log in early. So that say, instead of me leaving from home at 8.30, reaching office at 10 o'clock, uh, starting a work, instead I can log in at 8 o'clock itself, or rather log in at 10 o'clock itself, maybe like even earlier, like, I used to get more time. But now, things have changed so much. People, especially when it comes to higher management, they think that a work from home is equal to 24 by 7 working. Uh, like literally people are getting extended um, uh, working hours. I mean, it's not just my team. It's not just my company. I've spoken to quite a few handful of people and most of them say that they are observing this. Like uh, the companies have started thinking that uh, when a person is working from home, he's available 24 by 7, no break, nothing. You, you want to reach out to him at 9 o'clock in the morning, he is there. Afternoon, 1 o'clock, they don't even bother. If he wants to have lunch, he is there. Night, 10 o'clock, he is there. And some of my team members have been working late in the night also. At least they used to have some kind of a break or some kind of a pattern before, whenever they used to work, uh, work from home intermittently. But now, it's an assumption that if you work from home, you're always in front of the system. And like anything that is sent to you as a task, is like an important one. If there is no like high priority, low priority. Everything that is get sent out is a high priority and it has to be done then and there. Which is something which, I don't know, it's not at all practical, but it seems like majority of the companies are doing it, which is not good. And in between all these things, just relating to the other point that I have told, is that the lack of all this physical and mental distraction. Okay, Earlier, we used to take this break to work from home. Uh, because we used to get fed up of this travel like I mean I used to spend about three on an average three to four hours every day traveling irrespective of a two-wheeler or four-wheeler but I used to take that weekly twice or weekly once type of work from home so that I don't get to travel and I get that break okay I just get that break so that I don't have to do the driving every single day that's a, one of the reason now contrary to that I also like whenever I used to go to office, like the three or four days a week, you come home, I used to get that half an hour or one hour of break. Like sometimes I just have coffee and I take rest. Sometimes I just sleep off for half an hour. I sleep off on the couch or I sleep, come to the room and I sleep off. In one or the other way, there used to be some kind of rest, physical and mental rest or some kind of an activity which used to keep us busy. But now, just like as I told you, you get up, you start working, you're working, 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 you stop working, you go to sleep. Um, thanks to COVID, we can't even go out, no uh, breaks, no uh, re uh, what you call refreshing walk and all those stuff during the this thing. No lunch breaks, no coffee breaks, nothing. Everything comes to where you're working. That's another habit that has got cultured, like got developed everywhere in every single house. Like you're working family members come and give you snacks and coffee, tea, everything at your desk because they feel that you're in a what you call like you have too much of work you can't take break and all and they come and do this but they don't realize that you need that break you want to go out you want to walk and all again all these things are something which i feel are like total negative i'm not telling anything positive now like i used to be somebody who used to vouch for work from home 
regular work from home and or all this uh, patterned work from home and all but now it's not the last point that i want to tell is it might be something strange or weird but i just feel that all these things people know all these things are happening all this negatives are there all these challenges are there but for somehow many people they started taking things for granted and for them it's like work from home is chal thai type of attitude they know that if there is a work they have to do okay i'm i'm not relating this category of people to all the other categories of people but it's a kind of thing wherein they just like okay it's work from home aaram se karunga aaram se chal thai type of stuff and in that way the deliverables get affected things like there is no interaction and you you have to wait for them to respond and again as i told you there is no physical uh, or verbal communication you are not seeing them in person whether they are working or they are not working it all revolves around this whole aspect of trust that you are thinking that they are working uh, they have to live up to their um, thing that yes there is a kind of a trust that is put on me that i have to work and all but again when the output is not what you expect or not even close that's when you kind of feel that okay people are taking things for granted and i'm i'm observing it very evidently and people who are taking breaks for genuine reason extending it because this is an opportunity for them and they want to like anyway people are work from home that's like chill out time and all i don't know that's this last thing is something which is also bothering me uh, at workplace so and i don't think so the higher managements of any company will have any call on this they can't force people to come back to city they can't force people to come back to office and the situation is like this who will agree i mean i might say that i am ready to go to office now every day probably but i don't think so majority of them would be ready and the type of situation we are already gone to the position 2 in the world with the number of covid cases like i don't think so anybody would be willing and this would go on forever our company work from home is uh, confirmed till the end of this year that's like another three more months four more months to be precise and we have already been working from home from last six months i don't know how things will shape up going forward and if this this is the new normal then it's really difficult that's what i would say it's really difficult and it's really challenging so that's something which had been bothering me a lot i mean it's not a new thing it's not something which came up today but there's something which has been bothering me a lot since quite a few weeks or maybe 2 3 months i just thought i'll talk about it and express express it out thank you so much i'll talk to you tomorrow take care bye bye